Lovely talking to the three of you, known to be very private and quiet people. So who's the quietest amongst the three of you? <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, how did the three of you break the ice? I mean, I'm sure when you all walked in quiet and suddenly there was magic. On did screen. we break the ice? It's never happened. I don't think there was any requirement to break the ice. I think just when you have a certain respect for the people you're working with, then you just, the work uh, breaks the ice, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And your work definitely talks for uh, itself. Many congratulations to you from N.T. Rama Rao, A.N.R., Rajnikanth, Kamal Hassan, Amitabh Bachchan. And now these two, you worked with the best in the industry. And not many can boast of such a milestone. 50 years, five decades, I'll say, and not say 50 years. She's very young. And you started as a child artist, 300 films. So when you think of your career, what is the one thing that you get most nostalgic about? I don't know, nothing. Like, it seemed, seems like I just started my career. I mean, I'm a newcomer. This is my first movie. That all looks like a dream, a beautiful dream. But, you know, every, each one of your co-stars says, the moment she comes on screen, she lights up the screen. And you know, there's a big difference between a 50-year career and a 50 years of being a leading lady. Absolutely. And she has that, been a leading lady for that, 50 years. That I don't think has ever happened in the history of cinema, anywhere Absolute. in the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. Actually, that's the milestone. That's the achievement. Leading lady and the rest have, you've supported them. No, no. <laughs> Not at all. They supported me. Absolutely. They supported me. The credit goes to all my co-stars, my directors, my producers. I'm not just saying this mm. for the sake of saying, because I would have not been here without them. Trusting me, giving me such beautiful roles, beautiful films. It's really Any dialogue that comes to mind to describe your beautiful cinematic journey? <laughs> no, I don't remember. I just remember one dialogue, this from mom. Uh, is a very relevant in today's time. This is for teenagers. Absolutely. So they really love this dialogue, I think. And also doing mom, is it, I mean, I've heard that you basically disassociated yourself from everything and everybody to get into your character. And being a mom, did it help do this particular role? Uh, well, being a mom, uh, to be honest, because my children were at home, they were keep calling me. Uh, I never went through this kind of a phase in any film, this first time. Uh, my younger daughter used to discuss with my elder one, Mama always calls us, how come she didn't call? You know, it, is, it was not a conscious decision, I, I don't know. I wanted to be disconnected from people especially in this film, like uh, the character of that Devaki, what she was going through. Hmm. Uh, it didn't permit me to be in a normal atmosphere, like at home, joking with my husband and bullying them, uh, which I couldn't do that. I don't know why. And it was 15 years break and then we got English English. Now a four year break and we get this. Why such long breaks? I mean, it's nothing that has excited you in this period or it do you prefer taking breaks and then doing one film at a time? After hearing, hearing the plot, I think uh, Boniji and Ravi, they took time, almost two years, uh, to put everything together. Then finally we rolled in uh, 2016. So it's actually only two, two years I was away. And for somebody in her career who's done back-to-back -back shifts, you know, those days, 80s, I mean, you were running from one set to another. Do you like the pace these days? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't imagine doing the same thing again, of course, but the things have changed. The times have changed. So it's, I feel it's better now. You feel so? It's become more professional and there is a time limit now. And the environment has changed. It's best to be in this industry at this and time. And do you feel better roles are now written for actors who's, who they say, as seniors, you always would be the lead, but do you think better rules and come to you for actresses in a particular category, if you take age or whatever? 
now compared to then? Well, you know, the producers are mm, exploring, uh, doing new and different uh, subject, especially uh, uh, heroine-oriented film, woman-centric film. And, uh, and even the audience would love to see something. You know, the audience just want a good film. That's what matters, whether it is a heroine-oriented or the hero-oriented film. For them, I think it is only the subject that matters. 